So welcome back to episode two of the career series, where I'll be telling you about how to become a technical seller at companies like Microsoft and Cisco. My name is Shervin Shafi, and this is Collaboration Simplified. To be proficient as a technical seller, you need to be excellent in five different categories, technical skills, soft skills, certifications, culture, and leadership. So today, let's talk about technical skills. So open up a browser and type in Microsoft Teams Admin. Okay, great. So as you type that in, you can see that the first or second results are docs.microsoft.com, and that'll take you to the Teams Admin Guide. Uh, welcome to Teams. Uh, looking at different videos, you can look at the architecture and the telephony solutions, different posters that you can print out if you wanted to, tons of great information, getting started guide, if you're an admin, you're rolling out teams, looking at chats and teams and channels and all the backend systems that team connects to. Uh, there's a PDF guide that you can download. This PDF version of it is basically just taking everything offline and it's like 2,400 pages, tremendous amount of content out there. If you want to focus on apps and bots, information on that and custom apps, there's sections on meetings and conferencing, and then there's also a voice section, voice, phone system, PSTN, call routing and phone numbers and uh, phone plans, and then even along the bottoms, upgrading the teams, hybrid connectivity. If you can pick up most of this content, you're going to be an excellent resource from a technical perspective for a technical sales positions on the on the team's uh, team side. Now switching gear to Cisco Collaboration Technical Sales, just search for Cisco Collaboration SRND, the Solution Reference Network Design Guide, and you can click on the current design guide versus the archived ones. Once you get in here, this is really where the meat of Cisco collaboration is with respect to the network and their phone system, video conferencing, quality of service, everything you want to know about Cisco collaboration is in here. You can also click on download and grab the PDF version of it. Similar to Teams, you can have an offline copy basically of thousands of pages of this design guide of how do you put together these solutions. You can also search for collaboration preferred architecture. So think of these as kind of a uh, slimmed down version of the SRND, more typical deployments of Cisco collaboration. And finally, meeting transitions is a good keyword to search for for Cisco because there's a lot of shifting happening from on-premise to cloud. And so these guys talk about on-premise hybrid and cloud solutions from the Cisco perspective. So that's a good start on the technical side. If you can really understand the admin guide for Teams and the solution reference network design or the preferred architectures for Cisco, you'll be in great shape. Hope this helps. In the next episode, we'll be talking about certifications. Catch you later.